Good evening, everybody. This is the Reservation Homesteader. If you're not familiar with my page, every uh, week I try to post something new or something that happened on my homestead. It's called the Reservation Homesteader because I'm on the Indian Reservation in uh, the American Southwest. So um, this morning I was cleaning out the horses and feeding them, and I looked over and one of our goats had a baby. And uh, you know, that was obviously a lot of excitement. And then later on in the afternoon, this goat, her name is Lucy, she had two babies. So now we have three babies. Um, and if you've never you know, been part of a, a goat um, pregnancy, you know, it's really a great event. Um, so she has two girls. Um, and they're both, you know, really pretty, pretty young ladies. Um, but one of the things, you know, that came up was, you know, I wasn't expecting to have two different sets of goats on the same day. So that kind of caught me off guard. So I had to kind of rig up this shelter for them. Um, so, and this is why, you know, I, I always like to say, you know, you want to have stuff on hand because you really have to improvise when you're on a homestead. So this is what I created to make a little kind of like a nursery. So I use some uh, pipe hanger. I love pipe hanger. Um, I always keep it around because you know, like this, you can use it for things like this, securing, anchoring things onto wood. You can even I even use it for um, <coughs> anchoring down fencing, and then you know, uh, baling twine. That's you know, it's an abundance on a homestead. Every homestead has. If you have. Um, any type of uh, animal, the animals that eat Bermuda or alfalfa, you're going to have this laying around in abundance. Almost too much. Sometimes it gets, you know, can injure the animals. It gets stuck on their legs or whatever. But this is always around. So, and then this is just an old uh, dog gate. So you know, I was able to secure it to their normal goat shelter, so she can stay in here and have some privacy and keep the babies warm overnight I did the same thing on this side so I used the pipe hanger and another thing I, I like to use with um, on homestead is I like to use all the same kind of uh, screw types so I, I actually purchased like I don't know, a thousand of these decking screws they seem to catch really good on the wood they're strong they don't uh, rust so I like to use these and you know like I said I have like a thousand of them so I really don't like on my drill I don't have to be constantly switching you know Phillips, flathead, whatever I just have one one uh, drill head that I keep and I can pretty much take anything apart or put anything together on the homestead that makes life so much easier so <clears throat> It looks like they're, you know, getting ready to go to sleep, or at least the mom is. Um, and the baby's still up because they've only been alive for uh, six hours or less. So I'm going to show you my uh, the other goat that had a, a buckling. This one, you know, that that goat is actually getting the luxury of getting to stay in the garage for the night because um, it's just one buckling, but. Yeah, that's Lucy and her two babies. So they look like they're doing pretty good. Lucy's obviously tired. She had a really long day giving childbirth, but now she's better. So let's go look at the other goat. So this is our other goat. This is Twilight. Her baby's in the back, sleeping already, so they're going to spend the night in the garage. And they, you know, it's just the two of them. Uh, Twilight was, when I first woke up, she was the one I seen. Unfortunately, she did have three babies. Um, I found two of them miscarried, so this is the only one that's left. It's little buckling, so we're really blessed to have him. Homestead. He 
He's really a good looking little guy. He has blue eyes just like his mom. A really uh, a good looking baby. So they're gonna spend the night here. Tomorrow they're gonna go back with the rest of the goats, but I figure their first night they can relax and stay inside, inside a garage at least. So and that's all I have this week. Um, if you like the content, feel free to subscribe to my page.